Hi everyone, it's Sam and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to store your greeting cards. Now the system I'm going to show you actually works for me and I wanted to walk you through the process of how I set it up. So the first thing that I did was I decided not to go with the shoebox method or the binder method or just the box to throw all the greeting cards. I decided to use a accordion organizer. I found this at the container store. It's their uh, 13 pocket accordion organizer and it also comes in blue and pink and I just really like the rainbow color. Um, if they had a green I definitely would have bought that since green is one of my favorite colors. But um, I really like this because it keeps all the cards that I buy in one spot. So what I do is I will go out and I will only buy the greeting cards that I will need for that month. So right now we are in September and I only have one birthday in September. So what I did last month is I went shopping and I bought my greeting card for this month. And then I will go ahead and store it in here until I'm ready to throw it in the mail. Now I am still old fashioned. I still like putting a stamp on something and mailing it out to um, a friend or family member for their birthday and um, I wanted one place where I knew where everything was when I was ready to send it. So um, the reason that I chose this accordion organizer is because of the way that it's um, really nice, it's really nice and sturdy and also because of the straps. Now I have seen other accordion organizers at Office Depot and Staples and they have this button in the front where the strap um, hooks up to. I really did not like that because what had happened is it would pinch whatever was inside the accordion organizer and then your papers have a crease. I didn't really think that would be a good idea for greeting cards. So uh, when I found this one at the container store, this was an absolute must. Um, so the straps kind of go on the sides like this. So you just strap it like that. Um, one of the other features that I liked was that it expands. So I'm going to try to get that for you if I can. Ta -da! Um, this is really great so that way when I'm putting away my greeting cards I can put it on the counter or the table and just file it away. So for example, um, the categories that I have are holiday, birthday, blank, thank you, baby, wedding anniversary, and love and friendship, Mother's Day and Father's Day. This is actually one of the categories I think is missed the most because I won't just send a greeting card for my mother and my father and my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. I will send it out to my grandfather, my godparents. So I wanted a special category as not so that I do not miss um, sending them out a greeting card as well. Um, thinking of you, Christmas, congrats. Congrats is not for, um, is different than the baby or wedding category. It's actually something to, if you have a new job, if you just bought a new car, if you just bought a new home. Um, so that way that says congrats. And then of course, sympathy. So I have all these nicely um, categorized. And then what I will do is, um, these are the cards that I got last month. So I have, um, one birthday in September. I wasn't sure which card I liked, so I bought both of them, and then I will go ahead and drop it into the birthday category. And then when I'm done putting them away, I'll go ahead and close this up, and then store it on the shelf. So another um, thing that I also have for my greeting cards is the stickers that I will use to seal them. So the stickers are actually in the back, and I'm actually starting my sticker collection and I'm trying to pull away from taping the envelopes closed. My mom used to do this and of course I picked up on the habit. So I decided to kind of steer away from um, putting tape on it and thought maybe it would be a little prettier if I put some stickers. So I found these actually I'm starting my sticker collection. These are for Easter. Um, these are just if I'm sending out a regular card. I found these at um, Staples. These are the Martha Stewart Home Office um, stickers or seals. And then of course Christmas. And then I just put them in the back 
so I know everything is in one spot when I'm ready to send out my greeting card. So this is a great way to, again, store your greeting cards. As I mentioned before, I only buy what I need when I need it and I store it in here and then stick it onto the shelf. Now I will, of course, send out a greeting card faster than I would um, buying a present and wrapping it. So I know that I'm going to access this more often than, um, than the gift wrap section or the gift wrap um, area in my house. So I wanted one central place to put everything and as well as not to lose this. So if this idea works for you, definitely give it a try and leave a comment below. I hope that you like this video. Thanks so much for watching and take care.